More than 300 American cruise ship passengers, including 14 who tested positive for the novel coronavirus, are back on American soil tonight. One plane carrying cruise passengers touched down at Travis Air Force Base in Northern California just before midnight last night. Another arrived at Lachlan Air Base in Texas early this morning. The passengers will be quarantined at those bases for two weeks. Camp Roberts is no longer being considered as a potential quarantine site. KSBY News Megan Healy spoke with local health officials and joins us now live in San Luis Obispo with how they were ready to respond. Megan. Well, Richard, that's right. Local health officials tell me that coronavirus patients will no longer be coming to the Central Coast to Camp Roberts, despite the fact that federal officials had warned them over the weekend to prepare for that possibility. Still, the San Luis Obispo County Public Health Department tells me this was a practice run that's preparing them for whatever comes next. This airplane brought one woman one step closer to her Paso Robles home. For the next 14 days, Sarah Arana's home is a hotel room on Travis Air Force Base in Northern California. After being confined to a small room and balcony on the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan for nearly two weeks, Arana told me she's happy to finally be back on U.S. soil. She's one of hundreds of Americans evacuated from the ship. Honestly, you're much safer getting off this ship. Passengers like the Molesky family were evacuated by American teams in hazmat takes suits. The airplane, the airplane takes you to the United States and then you get your passport. Well, we're exhausted, but we're on the plane. In a Facebook post, Arana says she was greeted by federal health officials who were, quote, so warming and welcoming. They were signed saying, welcome home, and they lined up to greet us. She says, I'll never forget it. There was a possibility, though, that patients who tested positive for coronavirus would be transferred to Camp Roberts, but that's no longer the case. We did give a heads up to our local hospitals um, in case that they would need to house patients um, who were in need of hospital care. Our hospital system has been really ready. They just stepped up their preparedness a notch with this. Regardless if they have coronavirus or not, Arana and other passengers still face an additional two-week quarantine, confined to a hotel room and taped off backyard seen in her Facebook photos. She says, I'm home safe. I have many to thank for that. Still a long road home, but at least a little closer. Now, I did reach out to the CDC today to find out why Camp Roberts was even considered in the first place. I did not hear back in time for this report. I did, however, speak to Sarah Arana. She tells me she's extremely exhausted over the last 24 hours. She described that evacuation process as tedious. She's going to get some much needed sleep tonight, and we'll check back in with her later. We'll keep you updated on her journey back home to the Central Coast. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. All right, Megan, thank you. There are some American American cruise ship passengers that decided not to get on the return flight home. Officials say they have to test negative for the virus before they can leave the ship. There are no reported cases of coronavirus in San Luis Obispo or Santa Barbara counties, and the risk to community members remains low.